So in 2020, the global tailing standard was introduced and it requires that every site have an engineer of record. And that engineer of record role, it covers all aspects of tailings management from design, construction, operation and closure. So we as the engineer of record now, we're much more involved in the, in the tailings dam, we're much more involved with the client. They're typically long-term contracts that we now can build a succession plan into our business to work closely with the client. We build a relationship and all parties are involved. We have 13 engineer of record. They have a team around them and they basically focus on that site. So we have a succession plan in place to be able to deal with all those requirements. It's multidisciplinary as well. So we've built those teams as well to be able to deal with the environmental aspects, the piping and mechanical aspects, the civil and tailings engineering. There's a huge challenge all mines face in trying to deliver closure whilst they're still operating and trying to do all the engagement, all the environmental, all the technical, and also all the construction, uh, where you may have a depleted workforce, or you may have a workforce that's sort of declining towards the end of life. It's nice to be able to close while you still have an operating mind to pay for it. Uh, if you wait till the end, you've got to source funding from somewhere else to try and close these facilities. So this is a huge area that uh, is a big focus of ours as well. And we've, again, building teams, engaging with clients, really trying to understand how we can help them close these facilities out whilst they still have an operating mine.